what's up scrappy peeps it's Del from Inky Quill and I'm here with a bit of a funny layout this one is a very funny one so this is a scrap stash sat day video where I am using my scrap box which you can see on the left there to try and make a layout and make a dent on my stash because we all have these piles of pretty paper scraps some of them ridiculously tiny let me remind you and I'm, we need to get them used. So pull out your scrap box and see what you can come up with with me. So I have skipped out a large part of this because there was a lot of sticking involved. So this, <laughs> these photos are from Snapchat using some of the filters. Now, if you don't know what Snapchat is, it's a like a video recording, a very short 10 second video recording um, app where you can share your memories and photos with people so there's filters that you can get um, that change your face and Aaron and I quite like them so sorry for the blur here it will come back in focus when I realize in a moment but all I did was I picked the colors from the photos so I've got some pink I've got some turquoise a little bit of gold because I love gold and I just made some very, very basic little um, layers behind the photos. Now, some of those layers have the tiniest scraps of paper, but you wouldn't know it because they're hidden behind the photo. So this is a great way to use up those ridiculous strips that you've got in your scrapbox stash. I've decided to raise two of them up on foam um, just to give it a little bit of added extra you know, a little bit of something, something. And this video is taken on my older camera. So the quality is different from the last video that you have seen. I've found a little secret stash of older videos that I've got about as well as older vlogs. So I've been working through both of those. Um, the vlogs have gone up on our other channel, Mr. and Mrs. Rad, which if you want to check it out and give us a little subscribe, that would be fabulous. So I'm just using my favorite, favorite thickers of all time. Are they called a dawn, a door, a dawn, something like that. And I really like them because they're skinny and they just, they're just, oh, you get a lot on the sheet, which I think is important in a set of alphabet stickers. I can't stand it when you don't get enough letters on an alphabet sheet and you have to buy two packets to spell more than one title. It drives me nuts. So I added the word Snapchat and then I'm just using my Planner Society pen, which is now dead. The ink has gone from it, but it was good while it lasted. I'm just doing the shenanigans in my scripty font. And this one didn't need too much embellishing because the photos really do <laughs> take up a lot of your eye when looking at this layout. And for all those people that think I don't do multiple page, fo multiple photo layouts, I do do them sometimes. So here's an example of one. Because <laughs> I know in the scrappy world, there's a lot of talk at the moment about um, a lot of people who share on YouTube and Instagram whose layouts look the same. They all just have one photo. And I completely agree with that. And I am completely guilty of that. Of I really enjoy making layouts that just have one photo. But sometimes it's nice to have multiple photos, especially if they're on the same topic or the same event. I like to put them all in together. So I'm just adding a gold heart from my stash and some stickers from a Coco Vanilla sticker sheet that I recently just got. Sticky stick stick, all stickiness. So a little life update. Um, I'm planning something exciting for the end of January and then something also exciting for the end of February. So stay tuned for those. One of them's a class. Ooh. Um, and the other one is another something which I can't tell you yet but I have got some plans in the works and now that I've finished work completely I've got days and days at home without Aaron because he's at work to work on my surprises so we'll see cross your fingers that next week isn't too hot 
because that's the only thing that stops me from being productive, the heat at the moment. It has been boiling and our air conditioner is still broken, which is great fun. But I think next I think next Wednesday it's meant to be 36 degrees Celsius, that is, which is quite warm. And our house is always a bit hotter anyway because the sunroom heats up the house. And because I'm pregnant, I just feel about 10 degrees hotter all the time. So I think I might go move Inky Quill headquarters to my parents' house for that day because they have some lovely air conditioning that I can use. So I decided to add just a few tiny elements and look at that. My journaling appeared like magic. I love doing that. <laughs> and this layout's basically done. I just decided to put my title through the middle for something different. Um, I felt like if I had put my title at the top or at the bottom, it might have been a bit too heavy weighed with the photos. So by splitting the photos to the top and the bottom, it kind of makes a nice little break in between them. <gasps> Heidi Shine, shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your hearty shine. Shake your hearty shine. Let me know in the comments down below if you have Snapchat and if you like the filters and all of the craziness that you can get up to on there. Um, if you want to follow me, I'm Inky Quill. Just one word on Snapchat. And I post lots of the shenanigans that Aaron and I get up to as well as the bunnies and also some sneak peeks of layouts and projects that I'm working on. So if you've got it, you should follow me over there. And we're done. So... There's my darling inbred Aaron. Then we've got our little chubby nerdies up the corner there. That's exactly what I look like in high school as well. <laughs> I got glasses and braces in the same week in year seven or year eight, year eight. And it was the worst week of my life. Oh, it was bad, but I, I'm thankful for it now. But oh, it was a bad week. I look just like that photo. So thanks for watching guys. And please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you all next week. Bye. Bye.